YouTube. So I'm making a video of me installing my cubic mini wood stove in my import camper. So I did the burn off period on this guy. Um, I didn't do the whole period. I probably burned it off for about 15 to 20 hours. Uh, but I, I kind of mangled it in the process. It was out in the rain and kind of took a little bit of the paint off and stuff like that. So I'd highly suggest that if you're going to do a burn off period on the cubic mini wood stove, I would uh, make sure that you do not have it in the rain. I mean, it's, it's kind of hard where I live because it basically rains constantly. Um, but I found that this is a pretty efficient stove while I was burning it off. Um, it's insulated. This thing is tiny. Uh, the flue system is three inches. Um, it's, I bought the actual uh, double wall stainless steel uh, flue system from Cubic Mini themselves. I also happened to get um, some insulated five inch pipe for the extrusion. It's gonna be interesting putting this guy in. So this tiny little space behind me is actually the space I'm putting the Cubic Mini wood stove in. So it's gonna have a short flue. I'm gonna probably have to put on an extension every time I use it. Basically, I gotta take all of these down. I'm gonna leave this middle rail, then shield the whole inside of this so that the Cubic Mini can sit in here and it's not an issue for fire hazard, obviously, because these are combustible materials. So I have to make sure that that is gonna work. I'm gonna try and sit it back a little bit farther so that I have a little bit of room in front, uh, just to, just so I'm not like getting up into the camper and grabbing it, um, that would suck.
So I think it's going relatively well. I do have a couple concerns. All this wood here. I think this is going to be fine. And then I'm also tempted to take this right out. I'm going to end up doing this part here too. So a couple notes is I made a gap in behind all this outer flashing here. And that's to allow airflow um, in behind. Um, and just in case this gets super hot, it uh, it's not right up against the combustible material. Um, at least the, the main surface area of it. Uh, I think it's doing pretty well here. Uh, it looks good. I don't really like the overlap, but I didn't have a big enough sheet to do one piece in here. So I was like, whatever, it doesn't really bother me. The interior work is done for now. Now it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna try my best to do this quickly. Could could have been a lot better. I mean, I'm I'm not a tin guy or anything like that. I don't work with metal. Um, but I'm working with metal today. Yeah, you know, just uh. Just giving her the rustic camper anyways, you know, it's old school. So, uh, whatever. Um, I'm concerned about this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to light it and uh, get her going and then see what we're dealing with here.
Okay, so I'll open it up here. Um, there's a bit of smoke that comes out when you open it, but it's not bad. It's a, feels like I'm in a little cabin. This is cool. I'm just gonna let it go for a bit and take off and come back and see how it is in a few hours. Oh yeah, a technical difficulty. Came home and the camper was just full of smoke. So we got an issue with something with the pipe and the draw. got an update here thing is burning it's been burning for about a couple hours now um, I was having a bit of an issue with the draft and I had a bunch of smoke come in and uh, it was a nightmare but um, the draft is good now now it's the heat I need to flash this out because it's way too hot right here I can't even I can't even hold my hand on it. It's so, like right there, it's so hot. That's the wood, so that has to be, uh, that needs to be built out just like this part. So I guess I gotta put an extension on it. And then up here in front of it, right here, might even just like have the piece like full wrap around into this. Just to block all of that. Okay, we're finished. Put this flashing here to protect the top here. Got a good draft. Everything's good. We got flashing over here. Or I don't know why I keep on calling it flashing, but uh, shielding, let's just call it shielding, I guess. Yeah, shielding here, shielding all over here. So that's not an issue everywhere, right? It's meant. Okay, so this is the final update on the cubic mini wood stove that I installed. Um, it is the Cub. Uh, it's the smaller edition. Pushes the heat well throughout the space with this fan. I'm happy with it. I find it very efficient and it works really well. The only problem is, is because it's so high, I got no heat down below, basically. I'm not burning it super, super hot, uh, but uh, I've got cherry wood. Uh, I got nice pieces of cherry wood. I've got a mix of fur, and I've got a bit of hazelnut, which is kind of an exotic wood, but chopped it down in the backyard anyways this is a great stove i love it it's awesome uh, we had some technical difficulties uh smoking out the camper um couldn't get quite the right draw going but finally got it put a vent in the back uh just underneath of the stove right where it draws for the pipe um, and it seems to work very well. I'm, uh, I'm extremely happy with it. 
what I would do different is I would find other space in the camper for storage and I would um, I'd drop the the stove down to waist height. I'd cut this out, it would all be gone. And then that way I've got more heat pushing uh, throughout the bottom half of the camper. Um, but this takes the edge off, like this uh, surprisingly takes the edge off quite a bit. So um, it's starting to heat up. What do we got here? I don't know if you can see that. Thirteen degrees Celsius, so that's awesome. Yeah, it warms up the bed area really well because of the fan. The fan is a must. You gotta have the fan. If you enjoyed the video of me installing my cubic mini wood stove, um, subscribe to the channel. Uh, there's gonna be a lot more videos of adventure in the winter, in the spring, hunting, fishing, um, all that sort of stuff. That was cheesy, but...